Hello. Standing out here on the street corner. Yeah. Good reminder. One way sign. It's a good reminder of uh, the direction of time. Or, uh, here underneath the street light and the moon. And uh, if we try and go the other direction, there's a do not enter. There's a Mike's a Pizza. I think I was visiting this corner maybe four times a week for a dozen years or something like that. Some more than a dozen years ago. And I think I might have went in Mike's once, maybe twice. Probably one of those times was just to grab a water or a soda for somebody. I think I actually ate the food there once. I have no opinion about it. I mean, I just recognize it. Could be good. Could be... There's a little, like, Italian bakery there. Can't quite remember. I think so. Pretty sure it was, like, a little place to get a cannoli or something. Yeah. Uh, same thing. Might have been in there once. Uh, and then uh, then there's sort of strip malls. So it's sort of they change. So it sort of becomes this, and then it's that. Uh, Scoreboards uh, was here for quite a while. Uh, this cafe was... Just sort of no interest to me. There's a sign that says all the rage, but it's not lit up, which I kind of find a little funny. Uh, and then uh, Chinese food. Yeah, Lucky Kitchen. <coughs> Chinese food. And uh, this is uh, where I studied martial arts for... A giant chunk of my life. I suppose that giant chunk gets smaller the longer I live, but uh, relatively smaller. It stays the same. There's Campbell Avenue. That's the uh, name of the street we're on. And uh, you, know, you can see that it's uh, still a crossroads in uh, Chinese martial art. Uh, I suppose the, the building is still featuring Chinese. Uh, and that's pretty interesting. This is uh, where I spent many hours with uh, Jim and Ramsey Yunnan, obviously my teacher Bruce. And uh, Jen and Rose and Rob. Mike Lex occasionally, Mike Dalton occasionally. And uh, John and Chris, at least occasionally Chris, etc. Millions, millions of memories. But I'm here at this sort of uh, corner, crossroads of change. One way sign, do not enter sign. Kind of thinking about Chinese, not just food, but change, what Chinese has to say about change. So I thought I'd, uh, I was kind of driving by. I uh, haven't visited in years. There's no reason to go in uh, that I'm uh, opting for anyway. So I thought uh, do a little meditation here. <clears throat> right at the corner of uh, my school. Since there's traffic going by, who knows what you're going to hear. But And of course the store owner may think it's odd. But I'm going to Leave me a camera here. Uh, I think. I'm going to sit on the corner. This corner to my back. And again, you probably can't hear me too well. But you can still sit with me. While I lean against the cornerstone. The brick. Crossroads of, under a stop sign, there's a street light under the moon by a Chinese purveyor. One way, thinking about time. I'm going to meditate on time and change.
they were spending much time out here, at least that I noted. A single minded inside train. Off as I could.
passing by. But that is right in there. My teacher handed me my black belt, which to the spectators must have seemed like an ending. And his words were, now you're ready to begin. So even just then, we hear that. Now, now I'm looking at a piece of chewing gum, which they say lasts forever. Seven years or something in the stomach. So we'll uh, walk down the block and we'll bow out. There's some people jogging. Hey. So uh, I felt like I was maybe too far away and the street too busy, loud to uh, talk you through the meditation, but maybe you sat in respect of, contemplation of, consideration of, the space of change. The Chinese view on change. So, I want to say thank you here.